In the beginning, there were 12 founding members of the Alliance. At present, NATO has 30 member countries. This is a lot of people and militaries. So NATO definitely needs some structure to organize everyone and get decisions pushed through. The military part runs mission operations and plans out how to defend against future attacks, whether they be land, air, sea or cyberspace. The military part is structured by the Allied Command Operations, ACO, and Allied Command Transformation, ACT. Alongside the military is the political component. The North Atlantic Council is the highest political committee at NATO. Every NATO member will have a seat in this council. Each country's seat will be filled with an ambassador to the country, a representative, or depending on the situation, the heads of state. The really interesting element is how they come to decision making. Member states come together to discuss issues and topics, but there is no majority voting. The member states will debate until every single NATO member agrees on a decision. This is called unanimous consensus. Once this has been achieved, the military committee, if needed, will then fulfill the consensus agreement from the political component.